In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to use your graphics calculator to evaluate each of the following. Very important, I will never ask you this question in exam. It does work in exam mode. The only reason you're going to use this is if you have time after you've done this manually, you can check your answer using your calculator to see if you made any mistakes. So let's have a quick look. If I look at these questions, I see that 3 plus 4i has been used in, any, in every question. Now, you don't have to do what I'm doing now, but it will help you um, save some time. So, as you can see, it's an exam mode, so you will be able to do this in exam. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type in once 3 plus 4i, and I'm going to store that as a variable. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say 3 plus... 4, and to find i, I'm going to use my um, pi button, and I'm going to choose i over there, enter. Now, I want that 3 plus 4i to be stored, so I'm going to say control, store, control, store, and then I'm going to say, I want to store that as a, enter, and you'll see on the right-hand side that that is what they have saved it as. Now, what I want to do is in this question here, it says 3 plus 4i. Let me just focus a little bit, focus people. So, what I want to do is I'm going to say it's a times 2 minus a. So, I'm going to start off by just pressing a, and then I'm going to say my value a multiplied by, I'm going to use a bracket and I'm going to put in 2 minus i. 2 minus, and remember, not just I, I have to go there, 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 enter, and my answer is 10 plus 5I, 10 plus 5I. To do the second one, that's the inverse of 3 plus 4I. So to find the inverse of 3 plus 5I, or 3 plus 4I, I still I want to get, say, A to the power negative 1. Enter. And my answer is 3 over 25 minus 4 over 25. Remember that is the exact value. If you want to find the inverse, I'm just going to say control, enter, and my answer is 0 0.12 minus 0 0.16i. With the magnitude, I can find the magnitude of that value A. So to do this, I'm going to go to, I want to find the menu. I'm going to use number, which is 2. I'm going to use the complex number tools, which is 9, or you can scroll down. And now I want to find the magnitude, which is 5. So the magnitude of what? Magnitude of A. If you haven't stored A, you'll just have to type in 3 plus 4A. I say enter, my answer is 5. So the magnitude of that factor, or that complex number, is 5. The argument, remember argument is the angle. I'll just move this over, so you can see on this. So to find the argument, I'm going to go again, menu, 2 for number, Complex numbers tools is 9, and I'm going to find the polar angle. So I want to find the polar angle of what? Of my complex number A. If you don't have A, you can type in what it is. I'm then going to say enter. That is the exact value to find is 0 0.927. Hope that helps.